What's up guys, my name's Jonathan, this is my Canon, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Cannoneer. Now today we've got something special where we're going to see if we can sink a stand-in pirate ship with our Canon here. Now if you guys recall, a Robinet style cannon's not meant to sink pirate ships, not meant to sink ships at all. It's just meant to kill the people and clean out the people that would be on top of the pirate ship. You also have to remember that pirates at the time probably weren't trying to sink the ships that they were trying to take over. Um, they wanted to capture the ship intact. They might have wanted to kill the people on board, might want to ransom them off, might want to make them pirates. Um, but they were probably trying to capture the ship and its cargo intact. So they wouldn't be trying to sink a ship, per se, um, with a cannon of this size. Now, once again, this style cannon, Robinet's meant to just clear off the decks, and this style of cannon would have been probably the most common style of cannons that you would see on historical ships um, of the day, unless they were actually meant for war. Merchant ships and pirate ships were meant to kind of be quick ships, hit and run kind of tactics. Once again, they weren't trying to sink the uh, ship itself. So they would have had, if any kind of cannons, they most of them used muskets or small swivel guns. Um, but if they did have cannons, they would have Robinet style cannons on their ships if they had them at all. Um, so this would be a pretty good representation. Um, we're going to be shooting some bar shot. We're going to be shooting some chain shot. We got stone cannonballs. We got lead. We got steel cannonballs and some musket balls that we're going to be shooting out of our cannon here against a pirate ship stand in. So we're going to see what kind of damage those things will do to it. Now, most of the ships at that time would have been made out of elm or ash wood, and the records tend to say that they would have been anywhere from about two to five inches thick solid um, beams. So that's what we've got today, our stand-in pirate ships made out of two and a half inch thick solid oak beams. So that's what we've got down there for our stand-in pirate ship. We're going to be loading up our cannon with all the golden age of sail projectiles, so we're going to see what kind of damage that'll do. But before we head over to the range to start shooting everything, if you guys haven't done so already, drop down below and hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys are enjoying watching us shoot things with our cannon. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you'll be able to keep up with all the cool stuff that we're going to be shooting with the cannon coming out in the future. Go ahead and hit this like button down below if you haven't done so already. That's going to help us out and get this video out into the world of YouTube. Thanks for doing so if you've done so already and thanks for hitting that subscribe button. So we're going to go ahead and head on over to our range. A big shout out to the TWRA for letting us use their shooting range. So I'll see you guys over there and we'll start trying to see if we can sink our pirate ship. Okay guys, for our very first shot against our stand-in pirate ship down there, we're going to be shooting some chain shot out of our cannon. This was basically meant to go against sails and riggings and things like that. I don't think this is going to go through the side of a ship. Um, they're basically useless for that. They're not meant for that. But we're going to go ahead and see if we can send this through the side of our stand-in pirate ship down there. Okay, so here's our chain shot going in. Okay guys, for our very first shot against our stand-in pirate ship, we've got our two inch pieces of oak down there. We're gonna shoot some chain shot out of it and see what happens. If we can hit it from 50 yards, what kind of damage it'll do. I don't think it'll go through the side of that ship, but let's see. And let's go look, I can see we hit it. Ooh, it stinks. Yeah, nice little hole right there in the center. I don't know if it went through, but let's check it out. This chain shot is not meant to go through wood, not meant to sink ships, and it didn't do anything at all other than just bounce off the center of that wood. It left a big old mark where it burnt it in there though, look at that. Didn't even try to come through the other side. Okay, guys, I actually found our chain shot while we're out there. It just shredded that chain to nothing. At least the lead balls are still intact. They are a little bent and a little worse for wear, but yeah, you might be able to reuse that again, but it sure shreds it. Okay, guys, for our next shot, we're going to be shooting our bar shot against our stand-in pirate ship down there. This is another round that's not meant to go through sides of pirate ships, just meant to take down sails and rigging. But let's see what would happen if you were to shoot this against the side of a pirate ship. Okay guys, for our next shot against our stand-in pirate ship down there, we've got some bar shot loaded up. Don't think this is going to go through, but we will see.
Well, we knocked it over. Let's go see if it went through. Don't think it did, but it sure hit with some force. Let's go check it out. Nah, no way. No way that went through. Yep. Nothing at all. Let's set this back up. Oh, it embedded itself in. That's pretty neat. <laughs> you can see where the lead went in. And the other half of that steel bar is right there in the middle of it. Woo, that's got some powerful force behind it. You split that wood. Let's get another shot loaded up and see what happens. Okay guys, for our next shot, we're gonna up the difficulty a little bit to an actual lead cannonball. This may be able to go through our wood over there. I don't think so. Once again, our cannon's not designed to sink ships. Pirates and merchants at the time didn't really want to sink the ships that they were shooting against. The whole point was to capture the stuff on the ship and the people in the ship alive who didn't want to sink it. Um, so they're not trying to sink the ship. They're trying to clear out the people on the top of the ship um, or clear out the sails and the riggings and things. So this cannon's not designed to sink ships, but let's put a cannonball in, an actual lead cannonball, and see what happens. Okay guys, for our next shot, we're gonna see if we can put a hole in the side of our pirate ship with an actual lead cannonball. So let's touch this off and see what happens. That may have done it. <laughs> that may have put a hole through our wall, or at least knocked off part of the leg. Let's go check it out. Whoa, wow. Holy. It knocked off all the screws from the leg holding it up. So let's check it out, pick it up, and see. There's our cannonball hole. Woo! Didn't go through, but it sure enough carried some force inside of it that it waylaid it off the leg. In fact, nope, it may have gone through the leg. In fact, I think that's what happened. Good God. Yeah, okay, that's what happened. It went right through that, sailed right through our leg there and blew out one of the screws. Whew. That's some damage, especially to that size piece of wood. Good golly. Let's load up another one and see what happens. Okay guys, for our next shot, we got our stone cannonball going into our cannon here. You can see it right there in the barrel. And down she goes. Let's see what kind of damage this will do against our standing pirate ship down there. Okay guys, so we switched locations on you, but we went ahead and got a stone cannonball loaded up. This would have been an incredibly common projectile that would have been shot out of cannons back in the day. Stones were the preferred things. They called them gunner stones. So let's see what this will do against that side of our pirate ship over there. If we can hit it and what kind of damage it'll do if it'll go through it all. Okay guys, for our next shot, we got our stone cannonball loaded up. We got a stand-in pirate behind this, so we'll see what kind of shrapnel damage this will do if we hit the side of that pirate ship. So let's go ahead and touch this off and see what happens. Looks like it went right clean through the side of that pirate ship. No problem whatsoever. Sail right through it. Yep, not a bit of problem. Let's check out the back. And we missed our standing pirate up there, but, it, ooh, I don't know if it went through. 
Don't think it did. I think that's it right there. You can kind of barely see it caught in the side of our ship there. So this does not go through. Two inch oak boards, pirate ship would stop a stone cannonball. Okay guys, for our next shot, we've got our steel cannonball loaded up. We're gonna go ahead and see what this does against the side of our pirate ship. This is gonna be our stand-in iron cannonball. So I'm assuming this will go straight through the side of our pirate ship over there. We've got our stand-in pirate in the back, our watermelon. See what kind of shrapnel damage if this goes through, what it'll do. Let's touch this off and see what happens. Okay guys, for our next shot, we've got our steel cannonball loaded up. Let's see what this does to our stand-in pirate ship. right through and I saw our watermelon go. So let's go check it out. Whew. Right through the wood. I don't think that had a bit of problem. Yeah, no, it didn't. Straight through the side of that wood, right there. There's our stone cannonball. Our seal went right through. Let's check out the back. Oh yeah, right through. No problems whatsoever. So let's follow it on through. I don't know if it hit our watermelon, but it sure looks like it might've. So he's down here, right there, all spread to bits. So let's check out the high speed. I'm excited to see what that looks like. So steel, no problem going through the side of a pirate ship whatsoever, which makes sense given the fact they used iron cannonballs. So let's go ahead and load up something else and see what happens. Okay guys, for our last shot against our stand-in pirate ship, we've got some 60 caliber muzzle loader balls. We're gonna go ahead and load these up in one of our 3D printed wads here. See what kind of damage that will do. Go ahead and cap that off with a little lid here, make this into a canister shot. And we're gonna see what kind of damage this will do against our stand-in pirate ship down there. Now keep in mind, these were meant to take out people, not pirate ships. So let's see if these will bounce off the side or what they'll do at all. Okay guys, for our last shot, we got our musket balls loaded up against our pirate ship. Remember, these are not meant to take out pirate ships. They're meant to take out the people on the deck. But let's see what happens if you hit the side of a pirate ship with a load of musket balls. Let's go check it out. Okay, so did we hit? Oh yeah, we just uh, most certainly did. I can see all those holes all the way around it. Little dents, bunch of dents here all the way around. Yeah, not very big. They don't go through, but they would sure kill you if you were standing on the deck of that pirate ship, but they will not sink a ship. So there you go. That's what all this stuff does against the side of a pirate ship. Okay guys, now that we're back over here, I'm going to show you guys what all the damage has done to our wall here. You can see all of our musket balls. There's our bar shot. Just part of the bar shot still embedded in there. That's where our chain shot hit. That's our stone cannonball. The stone's still in there. We're going to dig it out in just a second and show you guys what it looks like. There's our steel hole. A couple more musket balls. And there's our lead ball right there. So we were hitting the leg, we flipped the leg around and put it back together. So that's what kind of damage you will do to a stand-in pirate ship with a cannon of our size. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and take apart our wall here and dig out that stone cannonball. So we've already pulled the screws out. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this over and get that stone cannonball out of there and show you guys what it looks like. So here's the remnants in the back end of that. That's where the steel went through, and you can see our stone ball right in there. So we're going to go ahead and dig it out. So we so crack the wood totally. So our steel sailed straight through the side of that wood, no problem whatsoever. Let's see if we can get that stone ball out of there and see what it looks like. So there's the damage. 
There it is. So let's pull that out of there. Looks perfectly intact. In fact, it doesn't even look like it went through a cannon or went through a piece of wood or stand-in pirate ship or anything at all. So there's our stone cannonball. Let me get that in focus for you guys. There it is. So that's what a stone cannonball looks like. I'm jumping around in focus. So that's what a stone cannonball looks like. When it goes through the side of a pirate ship, it is just covered completely in sawdust there, but it is totally intact. And we'll be able to keep this and use it again. Okay guys, so while we were digging out the stone, we found the piece of our bar shot there. You can see it just cracked in half when that bar hit and the steel bar came out and the lead was left inside of our wood there. So we're gonna go ahead and remelt this down and use it to shoot out of our cannon again. Well guys, that was pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie, I went ahead and peeked at the high speed and it's pretty cool to watch that bar shot and chain shot come flying in and bounce off the side of our stand-in pirate ship. Not gonna lie, I'm not really that surprised that they didn't go through it. They're not meant for that. They're meant to take down masts and sails and riggings and things like that. So if you guys want to see us do a video where we shoot some bar shot and chain shot and stuff at some stand-in masts, some stand-in sails, just let us know in the comments down below. I think that'll be a super fun video as well. I also hope you guys enjoyed and I uh, hope this answered some questions for you guys about what different types of projectiles would do against our pirate ship. So our stone, I'm not really kind of surprised, I am a little surprised honestly, um, that it didn't go through. Um, I thought it was cool that we caught it, I also thought it was super cool that it was intact when we pulled it out of there. Um, I'm not really surprised that the steel went right through that. The lead did quite a bit of damage and I also hope you guys enjoyed watching the shrapnel come out of the back when those projectiles went through. So once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. It's really going to help us get this video to spread in the world of YouTube. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We got all kinds of cool stuff that we're going to be shooting with our cannon and all kinds of cool stuff that we're going to be shooting out of the cannon as well. And if you guys have any ideas about things that you want to see us shoot with our cannon, things that you want to shoot out of the cannon, go ahead and drop those in a comment below and we'll hopefully get those out for you guys in a future video. Now once again guys, my name's Jonathan, this is my cannon, thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Cannoneer, and we'll catch you on the next one.